uh, liberating the lands of uh, our neighboring country. Uh, and we are preparing our partisans, you know, to act decisively at this very moment. The acts of sabotage that took place in February and March uh, uh, can be repeated again, though people um, who are making these acts of sabotage can face death penalty, but it's like our uh, feature of Belarusians, you know, to step over fears and to act uh, to help uh, Belarus and help Ukraine. So. As I speak, Belarusian battalion is part of Ukraine's counteroffensive, chasing the invaders away. We all understand that the speed of changes at the Ukrainian front opens new opportunities for Belarus, and it's moving so fast. But first and foremost, because they wanted self-respect and state. In 2020, Belarusians decisively chose their future. We have a distracted Russia that is about to lose this war. It won't be able to prop Lukashenko up with money and military support as in 2020. You may have heard stories of our railway partisans who stopped and same, some face death penalty. We keep... It became clear that there will be no safe Ukraine and there will be no safe Europe without free Belarus. Belarus is not only part of the problem, it's also part of the solution. And not avoid sanctions. Second, as the gas, grain and migrant crisis have shown, unlike thousands of those behind bars, we have the freedom to act, not to fake deep concerns, but to make a real difference. Now it's our turn. Now it's time for us to lead. <laughs>